welcome to um, AI show today. I'll be the only person, but it's going to be a great show. Let's get started. <music> I hope you had a very nice two weeks. It's very nice to see you. And uh, hi, everyone who's joining us. Um, welcome to AI Show, where we build AI playgrounds uh, step by step. And uh, you can follow along from the GitHub repository. I was just merging uh, the start repository for today. And um, before we get started on that, I just wanted to remind everyone that build is around the corner. Um, can I get a response to, well, okay. Hi, everybody can hear me. Awesome. Welcome, Jose and Ivan, Ivana. So nice to see you. Um, okay, yes, builds. Uh, builds is around the corner and we have a lot to show you <laughs> this time around. I'm really, really excited. There's a lot of um, new um, announcements and uh, I'm very happy to be part of it. If you uh, go to this link, you can see the cognitive services um, keynote uh, and then um, the demos and every announcement will be there. Just uh, come and join us. It's going to be really so much fun. Um, all right. Hi, Suraj. Um, and Thank you, Peggy. Just um, added the link to the discussion of the AI Playground. Um, just as a reminder, uh, AI Playground is um, is uh, going to be a demo of cognitive services, all of the cognitive services that we are going to build uh, slowly, one by one. And um, right now, we have few issues that we um, I added to our GitHub repository, and we have a discussion uh, link that you can take a look at. Um, one thing that happened before was uh, we, uh, I start building with Angular, and not everybody is familiar with Angular, so I decided to go ahead and um, skip the parts about the Angular and then um, die right in. So, hello, um, Daniel from Nigeria, hi. Hi, Suraj. Um, I really love the fact that so many people are joining us from everywhere around the world. Um, and um, I want to know how to say hello in your language. So uh, try me. Not that I'm going to be able to <laughs> do a good job, but I'll try. Um, if, uh, if not, you know, if I can't pronounce it very well, I can always um use the ai services help and that's my life pro tip honestly all right um so one thing that i want to show you since i mentioned that to kim chai oh i have no idea how to pronounce it um in portuguese you can say hola that's yeah that's the uh, Pretty easy. I love that. Um, all right. Let me share my screen and show you uh, what the app looks like today. Window and that one. Okay. So uh, this is the <laughs> version of it right now. Uh, I have some ideas. Hello, Brian. I have some ideas about uh, you know how to design this, but didn't have time to design it yet. But uh, any ideas that you have, please uh, comment on the uh, discussions on GitHub, and it's going to be very helpful. And we want to build the thing that you are interested in building with with me, honestly. So um, I was just about to merge this. Well, uh, let's see. I am not able to merge it, but <laughs> um, I promise I'll do that after this. And um, if you want to follow along, you can still follow along. Uh, just um, take the main um, branch and uh, download it, and I'll give you some time to catch up. And um, everything uh, will be pretty straightforward, hopefully. 
unfortunately Vanessa is not here today and that is a, a, such a shame because uh, she's my source of um, dad jokes <laughs> so uh, you were going to figure out that she was the funny one and um, if you have any please do uh, add it to on the comments all right um let's see did i give you the link to well actually the link is in the comments ai playground discussions if you go it goes directly to this discussion area and you can let us know about your ideas you can tell us what you're building um yeah or you can just say hi oh no i'm the only one who says hi <laughs> Hopefully you'll join me one day. All right. So um, one other thing about this app is that it has uh, multiple uh, repos. These are from our learn modules actually. So um, multiple uh, project folders and you can build on the React app, Svelte app, Vue app, Angular app, whichever you like. Uh, the thing that we are going to do is uh, use the um, REST endpoints. So it's going to be all the same. In case you are um, right now downloading and forking, I wanted to show you one thing uh, that's new this week, which is we have a new speech studio. It has a remake. <laughs> It looks really nice and sleek. And um, let's see, it has few new um, capabilities too. Pronunciation assessment. I actually haven't tried this, <laughs> um, but I will one day. I'm not that brave yet. Uh, but uh, one thing I could do is probably try it on different languages too. And um, here is my life pro tip what I do when I am not sure about how to pronounce someone's name uh, is I go to audio content creation. If I know uh, what their um, native language is, uh, let's say Danish, for example, and um, well, no, I can't really remember a Danish name right now. So Suraj, your name is going in. And and where are you from, Suraj? <laughs> Ivana has a dad joke for us already. What did the computer do at lunchtime? Had a bite <laughs> to eat. <laughs> um, <laughs> thank you. Well I think it had more than a few bites to eat. Thank you, Ivana. I need more of those today. <laughs> I need you here. Um, oh, Ivana, Ivana's name. Uh, your name is, is that Portuguese? I'm not 100% sure, but uh, let's give it a try. Uh, I hope you could hear that. It's definitely different than how I'm pronouncing it. Sorry about that, but I can record it and uh, pronounce it every time. Oh, it's Italian. Ooh. Let's try the Italian. Can you... There. I think I do hear a slight difference. Um, so anyways, I really do like it. And even the same language from different uh, locations, you can adjust to that for like French in um, Canada uh, versus Spain, uh, I mean, France. So yeah, this is our um, new tool and I hope you tried and please do give us your feedback. Uh, we are still, uh, you know, developing this together and um, hearing out the user's feedback, trying to make it even more intuitive. It, it looks beautiful though. Okay. Okay. So let's go back to our app. 
I hope you're able to download it and npm install it, and then you can uh, you can actually um, CD into the app that you are interested. Um, and then, um, and then um, <laughs> uh, npm install. So Angular app, you have to um, go into the Angular app folder and then npm install it. Let's see. I think I'm not able to share two different screens, which is hmm, going to be challenging. Um, okay. We were doing this together with um, Vanessa and it was making my life a little bit easier. So let's, um, okay. Mm -hmm. Share the screen. If I share the, my entire screen, it's going to be um, really hard for you to see because I have a humongous um, screen. So we <laughs> have to do with this one. Hopefully, I'll keep switching between the two uh, tabs. That kind of sucks. Maybe I can download um, the Chrome debugger. I do have it. Can I view it in here? I wonder. OK. Anyways, um, so let's take a look at our um, folder structure here. Uh, what we have is in the beginning is, you know, not super important, but we are going to be doing all of our work inside the Angular app. So I'm going to CD into Angular app. And if you haven't installed them, so npm install uh, everything. And if you open the package.json file, you can see we have some scripts that say start, uh, which, you know, takes our environment variables and, um, and then uh, builds everything and then serves it. So let's see. Uh, we can now do npm run start. Okay. Uh, oh, are you able to see? And I just noticed that. Okay. Okay. I hope this is big enough for everybody. If not, let me know. <laughs> Mm -hmm. um, hi, Sam. Is this a practice lesson? Um, good question. <laughs> uh, what I wanted to do was uh, to build uh, something. Hi, I'm uh, Build something that people can try out uh, cognitive services very easily. So we have a bunch of ways to do that right now, but they're not super into them, honestly. Um, I mean, they're like in different places. Uh, that's one issue. And also um, we have an app which has a bunch of really good examples of all of the cognitive services called um, huh, Intelligent Kiosk, but it works only on Windows. So my goal was to introduce everyone what the cognitive services are and uh, give them a playground to you know, uh, try out all of the services together. And um, right now, we do have some of the samples for vision, for example. But uh, most of the time, you want to do more than uh, just use the vision. For example, with our vision APIs, you can send a picture. Uh, and remember implementing Azure Translation API. Yes, uh, I will. I was just going to say that. For example, um, we are going to analyze a picture, right? And in the picture, we might have some uh, notes, text, handwritten text. We want to extract it out. But also, uh, we don't know the language of it. Maybe we want to translate it. So I want to be able to do all of those things uh, at once, like by just uploading one image and do it all. So that's the goal. But if um, you have any ideas, I'm open to listen. So. Mm. 
the GitHub repository is from one of our learn modules, actually, for static web apps, which we recently uh, announced for general availability. It makes it really easy to um, deploy it to Azure. So uh, I also wanted to give everyone an opportunity to work with uh, the framework that they prefer. Hopefully, this is it. I know there's a lot of them. I don't think we can all keep up, but hello, bears. Um, yeah, translation API is uh, definitely one of the exciting ones. Um, and now, I don't know if you know it, but uh, we have a new feature of the translation API, which is document translation, which means that you can give an HTML file to our translation API and you would receive it in the same format and translate it, which is really, really cool. Do the APIs eventually learn as time passes? That's a great question. So um, we are definitely improving our APIs uh, and training our models on our site. But uh, there is also other ways that it is uh, improving and you can improve even more. Uh, one of the things is, for example, um, I um, I was actually taking a picture of some uh, mixed reality headsets like HoloLens um, and VR headsets, and uh, that was not available in the object detection. And uh, I was able to just train a model with custom um, um, custom vision API to add on top of it so that they are being recognized. So that's one thing. But also uh, with things like form recognizer, you, I'm not sure, I hope you're familiar with the form recognizer. It's uh, one of our vision services, which allows you to take a picture, um, take a picture of a, a document, could be a receipt or any other thing. And then um, if you have, and then uh, it takes out, extracts out all of the important information. For example, if it's an ID, it has your name and um, value as a key value pair and you get a JSON uh, variable structure, which is really nice. But <laughs> on top of it, if you have something very specific, very complicated uh, format, for example, you can, uh, with, with our form recognizer tool, you can actually, um, uh, train it even more yourself. You can add uh, more learning to it. And you can do all of that on the tool, which is really cool. And Ivana says that documents translation is awesome. Uh, you do not lose the style when translating them. It's really, really cool. It's, uh, which means that if you have a, a chart that gets translated and it looks the same and all the tables and everything else is really nice. Um, is easier and more accurate to pick up lots of data stored in pages from a PDF now? I mean, you guys, you guys are amazing. <laughs> you know all of this very well. Uh, I'm really impressed and then thank you for reminding me. Um, so now what you can do with the document translation is not only, uh, you know, you can translate PDFs and uh, PowerPoints and everything else, but also you could uh, choose if it's a long document, like a book, for example, you could choose sections of it, uh, sections of the documents and then um, to be translated, which is really nice because sometimes you don't want to all of it and uh, it costs money to translate all of it. So it's really nice to have the option. So Rash, I wonder if you use that or Ivana, um, did you recently have a chance to do it? <clears throat> I'll um, maybe I'll go back to our uh, sharing my um, <laughs> browser for a minute. Uh, yeah, and then I can show you. Okay, so this is our cognitive services. Um, uh, yeah, Ivana said she tested it, it's amazing. And uh, what you can do is just have a database and send the, 
send your documents there and uh, when they're done you have them and you can save it to another uh, database if you need. For image recognition, does it internally convert to uses base 64-bit code format or other? Uh, I'm not sure. I don't know, honestly, um, what the format is. I'm sure it does uh, do some translation. And um, to be able to like uh, recognize things easily, for example, there's more um, formatting done on the image, which you don't have to worry about uh, that's being done, but I'm not sure which format exactly. Um, could you remove the label at the bottom of the screen? Yes, of course. Um, right. Okay. Is this better? Okay. Awesome. Yeah, I can see why you wanted that. All right. And this is, um, I believe, I'm going to try to type it here, aka the LMS. Um, cognitive services docs. So <laughs> I'll just paste it here. Okay. And uh, when you go here, you can see all of the different services that we have different categories. So that's why I had uh, some of it here too. <laughs> Not completely, but uh, to be continued. Uh, speech vision, decision language, and uh, you can take a look. What were we talking about? We were talking about translation, right? Um, okay, translator. Uh, let's see what's new. If you uh, go to the what's new section on the overview, which I really like, it's a great way to stay up to date about the information. Uh, you can see the new release, what is um, document translation. So I'll paste that specific link as well. So it translates large files, numerous files. You just put it in one uh, database and then say everything I put here translated and then it does it. Um, apply custom translation. So this part is uh, really cool too. Um, so again, I do, me and Ivana too, actually. Um, I do some mixed reality development as well. So uh, I have this uh, documentation and mixed reality is such a new thing and the concepts are super new and, and it's very specific, right? So I wasn't sure if the translation is going to be uh, good or not. Um, and what I did was I used the custom translation and I took, um, I, I took uh, previous documentation in that were translated on Azure, <laughs> Azure Mixed Reality, and then trained it with those um, in different languages, which, uh, you know, it's, it's a great source of information. Somebody already translated them. So uh, you just give them as input and then you have um, some vocabulary that might not be automatically translating. Let's see if I am missing any um, one new question. Um, I see Power BI, but I'm not sure <laughs> what that is. So I know what that Power BI is, of course. Uh, it's a really cool um, visualization tool for looking at your data. But if that was a question or a comment. So I hope I answer the question. So uh, Jose asks, uh, am I going to use PyTorch or TensorFlow? Uh, neither. <laughs> because so cognitive services are, are really easy to use services. Um, so you have we have the train models already. So for the vision speech uh, language, we train the models and that those are the models that comes from Microsoft research for years and years. 
and um, the same models that Microsoft is using, right? And it is available to you to be used just with the uh, REST API, or you could also use uh, SDKs. We have a bunch of different SDKs and for different ones, the most common ones are C Sharp, uh, Python, JavaScript, and maybe Java. <laughs> um, and uh, you can just make a HTTP call to use those and that's it. You don't have to actually use PyTorch or TensorFlow or have to know much about uh, machine learning. So DF Mera, I'm butchering that one for sure. When I grow up, I want to learn mixed reality. That's awesome. Uh, I mean, Ivana does both uh, AI and um, the mixed reality. Also, I do. And I have a great resource for you. And I have this whole cur curriculum that if you want, you can take a look. Um, if you want to learn um, Unreal Engine or if you want to learn just JavaScript, uh, it's all there. I hope it is helpful to people. And uh, these are actually very related subjects too. If you are coming from AI, maybe you don't really think about mixed reality so much, but uh, mixed reality is a lot of com computer vision. And um, so they go hand in hand. Oh, Ivana, you're so nice. If you want to contact uh, me, I'm happy to mentor. She said, you are awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, that's very generous of you. Well, actually, just wanted to tell you, we have some uh, meetups coming up. And um, we have uh, mixed reality meetups. I am running uh, WebXR meetups. And uh, if you ever wanted to ask questions, do a Q&A or you know, show and tell, um, you're welcome to come. And um, if you are curious about all of these, you can check it out on uh, our, <laughs> I am trying to, I'm spacing out. Okay, uh, on our reactors meetup page. Okay, where did I put it? Hopefully Peggy might hear me now and um, she might be able to help me uh, with the links. And I think I did put it uh, down below the YouTube channel uh, description. So uh, check out the meetup page for uh, for our Microsoft Reactors. There's a lot more. There's mixed reality and everything else that you want. There's a lot of JavaScript. Yay, Peggy. Um, she's got the links for you. So check it out. All right, did I miss any of the other questions? Does um, yes, could remove, okay, yes. Dogs, <laughs> the Admira, um, oh, so nice. People are finding mentorship and learning stuff together. It's uh, really awesome. Uh, you know, it, this past year, I missed my community so much and uh, be able to just go to meetups and such and talk to people and have these interactions. But this has been the closest thing and I'm very happy to see all of you and see these interactions where people find learning buddies, mentors and mentees. Um, great question from Aminuddin Mohammed. I hope I'm saying it right. Um, how safe these APIs in terms of data privacy? That's an amazing question. Thank you for asking. <laughs> um, they are very safe. We make sure that they're very safe and um, compliant too, because some of our APIs, uh, like we have um, text analytics for health, for example, are meant to be used by people uh, in uh, healthcare professionals, right? So it has to be super secure and safe. Uh, but not only that, you can run most of our um, our services APIs on your local device, on an edge device, on your own network, in a container. So it's um, 
it's easier to make sure that your data is yours. And uh, you can use a container uh, in Azure or, um, or in your local network as well. So um, if we go to, let's see, where do we find security? Okay. And here is a great resource for checking out the security and uh, the containers too. We have a great blog post by uh, Hank on our tech community about how to get started um, with containers for cognitive services. I hope I can find it. All right. Uh, add voice, enable. Uh -uh. Okay, it should be right around here. Formatting, introduce the semantic, responsible. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know. Okay, it will. It. I know it's here, but there's uh, there has been lots of new stuff. Um, so check out the ad block. Okay. Awesome. Great questions, everyone. Um, there is uh, something in Spanish that's not for me. <laughs> I mean, I don't speak it yet. Uh, I do want to learn it. Oh, okay. Um, I am sending the security link to Peggy so she can make sure that it's in a better format for you all. Uh, well, thank you so much. This is awesome. Really good questions. Uh, I mean, if you have anything more specific, um, feel free to ask how to work with containers and such. So basically what happens is that our uh, a version of our model uh, runs on your device, but uh, it is making a call just to um, report the usage of it because that's how we um, are able to charge, charge it to you. But that's it, your data don't have to actually leave your device, which is awesome. All right. Cool. Any other great questions? Today, you guys are in a roll, so I don't want to stop it. And I don't have that joke, so <laughs> this is more entertaining for me. And um, you can also check out um, all of the... Uh, mm, uh, depend, depending on the country, depending on the industry, we have to comply with different uh, rules and all of the uh, compliance services and um, are on our documentation as well. So, yeah. Today, I actually, um, we start doing this a while ago. <laughs> We forget about it too, uh, but we start with uh, computer vision and specifically with face. That was the first one that um, uh, we got get started with and a detection of the face. And uh, one thing that is uh, still uh, very important for people at the moment is being able to uh, recognize if people are wearing a fa face mask or not. So, uh, since still this is an issue, uh, I wanted to do that first. So, um, let's see. First thing, if you don't have a um, Azure account, we have some links uh, down below um, for to sign up, uh, and I might have it in the banner too. Oh, okay, yes, here it is. 
uh, cognitive services free, aka the MS. Um, so you can sign up for free and use a credit uh, on this one. I think, I believe it's for $200. And that is plenty for you to experiment with a lot of stuff. Um, so check that one out. Okay. And closing. Not closing. Okay. If you uh, come to the quick start uh, uh, of the face API, you can find whichever language that you feel most comfortable. I'm actually using the um, directly the uh, REST APIs. Pum, 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 pum. <laughs> I don't have the music, so I have to make up for it. Um, okay, and there are tons of sample codes as well. Like if you um, search for it, and you can dive into whatever language you feel more comfortable with as well. We have tons of um, uh, code samples that you could find it on the documentation, and then the uh, all of the code is uh, on GitHub. Okay, um, first thing that we had to do was to create a resource. Um, so I have this resource uh, for the blog post that I was writing. So it has a bunch of uh, services already created, but if you uh, haven't created any of it yet, you could just typeface or computer vision and, and then click create and then follow the instructions for creating it. Once you create it, uh, I have all of it here. And then it takes me to the quick start page. And uh, I have keys and endpoints that uh, you have to take and then put it somewhere in your um, environment, uh, hopefully in an uh, environment variable. Uh, and never, ever push the API key to GitHub. Hopefully, I haven't <laughs> done it also. Um, so when you first create it, you have the overview and um, but the quick start gives you a bunch of things like the documentation and the API console, which is really nice. So uh, I had one open here. Uh, now you could see the different um, endpoints like detect, uh, find similar faces, you can group uh, faces and you can identify people if you want to do something like um, face uh, identification for login. Uh, that's something that you could do with face API. Uh, you can identify it, create groups, like say, this is my work group, team group, for example, who are going to have access to this room, and then you can use their uh, face to do, to do it. Um, yeah, and First, we are going to look at detect. I am in the West US area, uh, Silicon Valley to, to be specific. And here, now I select this, I have some information like the uh, requirements is the JPEG, GIF, uh, PNG, and the JPEG, oh, GIF, it takes the first frame. This is important. I was actually thinking about uh, giving an animated one, but it's, using um, the first one. You can also send it as uh, multiple ones. So there's information about the releases, what happened when, and how to use them, and some more documentation. And the uh, cool thing is here you are able to make your first um, HTTP call, REST API call. And then, um, let me make this a little bit bigger so you can see, uh, and then see what happens. To be able to do that, you actually have to put your API key, which, let's see. Um, let me make sure. Okay. Let me make sure I am the one. <laughs> who's here, just in case. Um, I have my key from the... Uh, 
from the page. Remember, I was telling you this is the secret keys right here that are blocked. And then I have the endpoints and where they are. And anytime if you are um, worried about uh, somebody seeing your keys, you can just regenerate them here. And now I can put this here. And I have to give a um, URL. Let me find a good URL for an image that I want to um, print. Okay. So this is the image I'm going to send, and I'm going to send it to section three. Why not? Um, okay. Okay. Everything looks okay so far. Send and see what happens. So now you see the request uh, being created, and once it's created, what comes back from it? So what comes back? Uh, you haven't seen the image, so <laughs> let me show you the image actually. It is our vice president and president uh, of the United States. Uh, our vice president, if you don't know, is uh, from Bay Area. She was our mayor, so I'm a huge fan. Um, Okay, so if I, this is the only thing that I put in, uh, it detects faces and it detects two faces and then it gives me the coordinates of uh, where they will be. Oh, this is very small. What happened? This, okay. So the face rectangle is, um, if you want to draw a rectangle around uh, the faces, then you start from drawing from these um, these coordinates for the image. So okay, um, but uh, that's not what I wanted to see. Not just to uh, recognize, but also <laughs> to see if they're wearing a mask. So return face attributes mask, and let's send it again and see what happens. What happened? Uh oh. Oh, okay. All right. So now uh, my returned uh, response changed. I still do have the um, rectangles, but also uh, face mask, no nose, and um, mouth covered through or false. So we do get true, and we can see they are both wearing masks. Um, for the last version of these services, is there an SDK that covers everything available or for some things we need to use REST API? Uh, no, there is an SDK. <laughs> there, definitely there is an SDK. Um, the reason I um, actually didn't want to use the SDK is because it's kind of like magic. <laughs> uh, we can actually take a look at the SDK documentation. Um, where were we? Okay. Um, on the quick start, if you were starting from this, then you could see the code. So basically, what happens is that SDK is uh, making it easier for you to develop. And so you don't have to worry about most of the details of the implementation. So uh, you just include the SDKs here in JavaScript, Cognitive Services Face SDK. And then uh, it has a client uh, class that does the authorization for the face service. And it has a class of detected faces, face list, and all of those things. So they are uh, easier to use, so much easier to use. But it's, it's a little bit of magic. So uh, if I do this in JavaScript, for example, it's going to be very different than um, than Python, and I didn't want to do that, that to you. But if you prefer, uh, definitely SDK is the way to go. It's much faster, much easier. Uh, yeah, and you are less likely to make a mistake. And uh, you are definitely going to send uh, your requests in the way that the APIs are expecting. You don't have to think too much about it, which is nice. Have you been using any of the SDK, Suraj? Or anybody else? 
Um, I don't know if we can do a poll here, but I'm really curious what other languages people are using. I know our JavaScript developers are a minority. Most people use Python, C Sharp, um, but yeah, do let me know. Uh, can you see this okay? It's not super clear, I guess. Okay. So yeah, if you want to use the SDKs, check out these. Uh, oh, we even have Go, I didn't know. Uh, Python, JavaScript, C Sharp, and all of the examples are on um, GitHub. Library source code, yes. So this is the face SDK for vision face. And usually there are some examples uh, on these files too. Well, maybe not on this one, but I know that they have it for JavaScript. C sharp, C sharp, all the way. <laughs> um, that's really cool. Um, so the most common uh, language for uh, mixed reality is also C sharp at the moment because uh, of one framework, which is Unity. Cool. Um, so what do we learn from this? First of all, um, if I uh, don't know, I'm not 100% sure if uh, I'm going to be able to do something, uh, detect something. This is a good way of trying out before you invest in writing any code. Um, so Peggy was asking me the name of the languages. Um, let's see. Um, Computer vision, where was I? Okay, uh, I think C sharp, C sharp, uh, Go, Python, Java, JavaScript. Um, I believe that's it. Language support. Oh. This is for <laughs> different languages, not what I was looking for. Mm -hmm. Okay, it was here, I think we were here. Yeah, seems like uh, those are all the ones for at least base API. Uh, we might have more for different. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> okay, you just, uh, you guys just um, proved my suspicion. Most of uh, Microsoft developers are C sharp developers. Okay, um, what was I saying? All right, uh, what do we learn here? Um, first, we get to try it out, and also we see easily all of the query parameters that we need. So um, return face landmarks, we have to send all of these. And then here, face recognition for, I don't know if it's going to make a change, uh, but I hear some things somewhere, uh, but I don't know where they're coming from. I hope I'm not missing your questions. Um, and then the other thing that we get to see is uh, exactly how you are making this call. Uh, so this is the uh, detection. Now I changed it, I think. Detect API. Um, and you are able to add more parameters, actually. Uh, but I don't know what to add. And we need to give the content type and the key and the body, which has the URL. OK, and the response is going to look like this. All right. Uh, so now I can switch back to 
uh, my VS Code. Okay. Um, let me know if this is, oh, we have a link for uh, the poll. Let me see. Uh, AKA.ms Learn TV. Let's see. AKA.ms Learn TV. How does this look? Oh, huh. Okay. I. I am the first one to vote. <laughs> Join me, guys. Okay. Okay. Is that it? 100%. Nice. I like that. Okay. So, um, hmm. Um, here I have the Angular app, as I mentioned, uh, details, don't worry too much about it. Only thing that uh, you need to know is that um, you have to go into the Angular app uh, folder and npm install, and you can run any of these scripts on the package.json. Okay. And it is running. Has anyone used this to open up Chrome here? The um, Chrome Developer Team. I I remember seeing a open in default browser. No, not that one. That it opens up here, right? Oh, okay, never mind. We'll have to switch back and forth. All right, Angular app. And if you go under the source, we have the app folder. Uh, we have products, vision. Vision is the one that we are working on. You don't have to go anywhere else. Okay. And um, what's happening on its HTML is that we have an input where you put, <coughs> you can put uh, your URL. And then anytime there is an input change, uh, it runs these analyze function and then gives the input to the analyze. So this analyze function has to go and make the code. And, um, and then um, return the response. So analyze function is here. It's taking an image URL. And then I'm saying analyzing. I set the is analyzing to um, to true. I'm using this to show a, um, what is that thing? Um, uh, time is passing kind of animation, whatever you call it. Um, you can try opening with the port URL. Uh, that's actually, uh, huh, port URL. That's not the problem, I think. I know the URL, but um, the problem I'm having is the software I'm using to stream this out is allowing me to share one thing, or I can share my whole screen, which is uh, would be fine, but my screen is huge, so it would be really hard for you to see. Uh, okay, so, but I'll, I'll get there. I'll show it to you, I promise. So I analyze image. Uh, we have the set. We are setting the HTTPS options, which is the OCM key, which you might remember we had it on that page. And the parameters are the ones that uh, we saw on the API page. Return uh, face max. Mat <coughs> um, okay. Return face attribute mask. And then recognition model. Uh, so on and so forth. And I have um, a environment file. Um, actually, you could um, you could set your environment file files however you want, and then you could see them on the these environments um, folders as well for production and dev and such. 
Okay, going back to vision, .ts. and uh, we, what we are sending in the body is the um, URL. I put a default URL uh, just in case, and then um, you actually want to take it from the uh, input, and then uh, we are making an HTTP uh, post request. Uh, first thing is the URL for MYM for our API endpoint, and it is in our in my environments folder. So it's coming from there and the face endpoint that is, that's an object we are selecting. As the body, that's the URL with the HTML and HTTPS options is the headers and parameters that we set for it. All right. So, um, I'll find a better way for next time, I promise. So now we, this is running. Uh, we could uh, add any URL here. Um, let me get my URL. Or any image that you want me to check if they're wearing a mask. Um, you can see that. So analyzing is start to run because I said anytime there's a change to the input, just um, uh, run that function. I hope you could see. And it's telling me what the analyze function has. And uh, we already got a response. And uh, face attributes, we have the mask. Uh, nose mouth covered true. We have the face ID um, for different people. So we have two different people and face attributes, they both have the mask. Yay. Um, so few things I think we can do here. <laughs> um, see what else that we could, um, we could try to see here uh, from the attributes, um, from, and this is the exact one. Um, and also just display uh, the images and um, and display the yes and no uh, results, unless anyone has any questions. Checking in, checking in. Everyone seems to be fine. And no dead jokes currently. All right. <laughs> um. Okay, let's take a look. Uh, okay, so right now, one thing that's not working is I this message was supposed to be gone when the result is here. It, it is not gone. <laughs> and we don't see the result. We just uh, read it on the console, uh, which is not really very helpful. So you can, if you are not very familiar with the um, developer tools for um, browsers, Chrome and Edge, um, you can open it with Control Shift J or by going here, uh, more tools and developer tools. And now you have uh, multiple things. You can console lock things, but also you have the network calls. So this is the call that went out uh, that we sent. Um, and then this is the response that we got. And you could also see it here, which is uh, really cool. This is what I really like about web development too. It's uh, really fast. Um, what does a baby computer call her father? Hmm. A baby computer. Call her father. I don't know. Peggy, is that you? Um, hmm. If it was the mother, I would say main board or motherboard or something. 
come on, I'm waiting. <laughs> the suspense is killing me. <laughs> Microsoft will open. Data. <laughs> That's great. Uh, <laughs> I think it would it might not work for a British accent, but it does uh, work for American accent. Not that I'm very good <laughs> for either one. Okay, Ivana, we're waiting one more from you. <laughs> uh, no pressure, no pressure. I appreciate you being here. <laughs> okay. So stop the screen. Share the screen. Okay, share. Looking good? All right. Uh, maybe I could make it a tiny bit smaller. That might help. All right. Let's see. Um, so we want to maybe uh, have an image. Um, Image tag here. Oh, I was hoping that it would autocorrect. I mean, am I doing this wrong? Indian image. Okay. Because it's IMG. That's it. That's great. Why? Okay. Um, why are you giving me that? Uh, <laughs> this is interesting. Okay, I think I could do this too. So I'm going to create an image tag and I'm going to use the source as the source value, um, the image URL. I think the way I could add this was, at least, um, image URL. I hope so. OK. Um, let's see if that is going to show us anything. Oh, I missed the jokes. Uh, image source. Oh, thank you guys for helping out. <laughs> Whatever name by programmer. Good one. Uh, mm -hmm. Which computer science the best? Adele, because of Adele. <laughs> oh, Sing is the best. Sorry, which computer sings the best? <laughs> Adele. Yeah, I have Adele. <laughs> cool. Um, what complex is going on? What complex is going on? Uh, I don't know. Not sure. All right. We can do this. I haven't done uh, Angular in a while, too, so um, the everything might have changed. Hopefully, this is how that works. Okay, one last time. Um, you maybe this, or is this an option for seeing it here? Lounge. Um, mm -hmm. It would be really nice to see it right here, wouldn't it? Um, okay. Are we running? Okay, it's still running. Let's see. Um, what is my set? No. Maybe it was a debugger view. Uh, enable source map. Mm -mm.
Wah, wah. Hmm. Charge. Is something was opening a Chrome here? I remember. Browser points. No, there's no great points. Uh. Hmm. Okay. Um. <laughs> let's see. No, it opens up uh, a new tab. Okay, never mind. We will see what happens here. We'll get errors if that's the case. So let's move on. Uh, thank you, um, Mr. Santos. I'm not going to be able to read your first name. Uh, let's see what which Angular version. I, I'm not sure, honestly. Um, we can find out from our package.json. It's 11.2. Um, I don't even remember which Angular was the last one I used. Oh, but I do remember, I guess. It was, I did use it for a talk. Okay. Um, cool. What do we want to do here now? Uh, one thing that we could do is uh, display the image, of course. Um, and I could object image. I need some music for the um, for me for these kind of times. No, it's not where. Oh, debugging Chrome and Angular hard to config. Uh, yeah. Anytime when there is magic, which Angular CLI is magic, uh, then there is also confusion. <laughs> So, so if I go to here and then I can create uh, components and services um, and call them anything, and it creates it for us, and then it has all of these things to that runs and builds and stuff. Uh, so, but that also makes it harder to configure sometimes. So our decision is right here. It has uh, the tests and components and everything we need to start uh, going. I'm just saying for those of you, the C-sharp developers around here, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, JavaScript is not too bad. Although there's um, a lot of configuration and a lot to learn, but it, it, a lot of there are a lot of helpful tools as well. Okay, going back to the component of HTML. Uh, okay, image URL uh, is the name of the variable. I believe we need to use its. You are? No, it didn't actually work. Let me um okay. <laughs> One of the other reasons I don't want to share my whole screen is also um because I keep going between stuff and <laughs> that has been hard. Where am I? I was looking for the URL. Okay, this one. Did I copy this? Hopefully. Not paste it. Hmm. So I uh, just cancelled what the image URL is. 
So that's basically a variable that is uh, referring to the input uh, value and uh, we actually don't ha get its type URL ID is URL, but the value, what is the value of it? Let's see. Hmm. Okay. Now, if I use the value of it, I do see it. Um, let's see. Okay. So we have the image now. Um, one thing maybe we want to do is to um, draw the squares, or should we try out um, the vision APIs and set uh, adding the vision API because uh, with the vision API, we can also detect the objects and uh, maybe describe the scene. So uh, we can start doing that. Let's do that. Stop. Hmm. All right. Uh, and this is the. Um, latest version of it. Anytime you have it, you can, um, you have a new one, you add the image, you can see it, and then you can display the information below. Um, now, going back to um, my resources, I also have cognitive services resource, which is a, um, which is basically all of the cognitive services. So you can see all of them are here, computer vision, face, uh, form recognizer, all of them are here. Maybe we should use just this instead of uh, face APIs keys. Um, I believe I do have the endpoints and the key set up already. And what we can do is take a look at its documentation. Uh, and take a look at its quick start, maybe Azure portal. Okay, um, mm -hmm. we created single service resource. No. Um, so why some a common question that I hear all the time is um, why do we have different kinds of resources and what are resources, anyways? Basically, you can think of the resources as uh, folder structures, and uh, it helps uh, companies especially to determine uh, which product maybe or is using um, how much money or how much they're using the service. So it's a good way to create, um, you know, different ways of organizing your um, API calls and such. So if you're using it for testing, for example, and if you're just testing one thing and if you want to have a different one, that's why you would use a specific one. But uh, if you are just, you know, trying things out, just use uh, computer vision, I mean, uh, cognitive services uh, as the whole thing. And we should be able to um, do everything that we need here. Okay, and this is telling us how to set our API keys. Okay, create new resource using Angular CLI, I mean Azure CLI. Um, new resource using the client library. Huh, uh, this is actually not giving us uh, the REST API endpoints. It's telling us to use the uh, library. Okay, let's do it. Um, so there are three packages that we need to install. Okay, let's do it. Uh, make sure that you do this inside the uh, Angular app folder. And once we add it to package.json, uh, we can require it in our node. 
package and then use it to authenticate your principal service ID, tenant ID. Okay. Hmm. Choose a service and peers. Hmm. Uh, that's interesting. Uh, I'm actually curious to see how is it different if it's a uh, computer vision. Do I have a computer vision? Yes, I do. Okay, API console. Okay, I like the API console. So we have the analyze image, uh, describe image, detect objects, um, area of interest. So let's take a look at the analyze image. Okay. Uh, again, we are doing exactly the same thing. So let's start from this one, actually, because uh, we are just sending the same um, URL. And it's, uh, it's a very similar one. Details, English, apparently. <laughs> so what I want, uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> um, it did went dark. Hi, Warren. Thank you. Um, yeah, my... Oh. <laughs> I'm having a glitch here. Uh-oh. Huh. Hmm. Um, that's interesting. <laughs> oh, what do we do now? So sorry about that. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. Or does it mean to have a black screen? Um, normally I would restart, but uh, maybe I can restart the um, Chrome. Huh. I have no idea how did that happen. Okay, I need a joke. Technical issues joke. I'm so sorry. I should have uh, have some too. Peggy, do you have some? I wasn't expecting uh, Vanessa not to be here today, but she had um, some stuff that she needed to do. And um, if you were watching Vanessa, we miss you. Oh no. Uh, hmm. If I restart Chrome, I also have to stop this streaming because I'm using a web service to do this. So I'm not going to be able to do that. Um, but I closed the last one. So hopefully this works. Okay. Okay, I am back. Phew, that was scary. All right. Okay. Mm. So let me um, put in my vision key and then maybe use the same um, URL in, my, in our components and see what happens, what we get without changing anything. categories, people. Um, and we don't really get much. So what do we uh, need to know? Oh, God. <laughs> um, hmm. Okay. Why does the computer wear glasses? to C, <laughs> I can't quite say it, to C++, but it's to C sharp. Ha ha. <laughs> Perfect context for this one. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, hmm. um, I never had uh, anything like this 
to my browser before. I don't know what to do. Hmm. Any suggestions? As you don't see, I actually don't see it either. Um, so anyways, let's stop sharing this and let's go back to the VS Code. Maybe we'll have better luck there. Okay. So what's happening here is we have the image right and then we are making this call, analyze image URL. So we are making this call to face API. Let's um let's make another call to uh to um division API. Is that HTTP? So it's asking URL, body, um, and options. So body, we're going to use the same one. And for the URL, we are going to use the um, region endpoint. Uh, let me make sure that I actually do have region endpoint. Vision key, vision endpoint. OK, yeah, I do. Um, cool. And let's go back um, and the options. So we need new options. So HTTP options, um, let's call this HTTP options space. And if this call, which is probably, um, you know, Uh, refactor this out, but um, for now, this will do. Uh, no, vision API call. Okay, um, so I'm going to first copy paste this and create the vision API call for this vision. Okay, and these are not going to work this time. Um, and our key is vision key now. Okay. Um, URL, we are going to send to the same one and uh, we are going to give these options to um, our HTTP request. And then, we have to subscribe to it. So this is an observable. And then we're going to give it a response. And as the first thing, I'm going to pass along that so we can see. So it's giving me quick fix issues. Okay. Cool. HTTP options vision. Cool. Uh, everything seems to be cool so far. So um, I'm going to take a look at the parameters, query parameters. One of them is visual features. And uh, first thing is Visual features and categories. This is the part that I'm getting uh, from the API documentation, and I'm just copying and pasting um, the values from there. So this uh, language. Hmm. Okay. Um, English, but I think if we don't give any language, it does detect. Uh, and the model version is the latest. Hmm. Okay, this should give us uh, a basic call, and we should be able to see 
uh, the results. And we are getting back a JSON. And this should be OK. Oh, there are new jokes. Oh, wait. I it, The answer wasn't to C-sharp. Why computer wear glasses? It's to improve its website. <laughs> I definitely need to improve my website. It's currently going black on me. Um, <laughs> how did pirates uh, collaborate before computers? Uh, Hakan, you have to tell us that. How? <laughs> Hakan, this was five minutes ago. You can't just leave us with the question and not give us the answer for five minutes. That's not fair. Come on. Um, OK. I'm going to try to share uh, Chrome again. Hopefully, it will work this time. OK. Sure. Huh. It is working. OK. Whew. All right. So uh, what is happening here is um, we are using the same input. And it's the same function that's running, but it's making two calls. And uh, when each of them is resolved, we are going to get the um, messages. So, uh, let's paste it and see. Oh, region came first. So categories, people. Uh, Metadata, the height, um, cool, and request ID. And the first response was our, from our face API. Awesome. So now we can get information from both of them. And hopefully in the future, uh, they will be the one uh, API. OK, how did the pirates collaborate before computers? Peer-to-peer -peer networking. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Because they're on ships. Okay, Robin. Thank you. That's a good one. <laughs> How come you supported us with the answer, but you got us. Thank you so much. Um, I should actually add a random dad joke function to AI Playgrounds, I think. <laughs> um, I wonder how good... AI would be to uh, create jokes. One-liners shouldn't be that hard. I don't know. Um, also, it's a very complicated thing. Who knows? Uh, oh, God. <laughs> oh. OK. How did the um, <laughs> developer communicate before, uh, I mean, when her screen goes black? Ask for more jokes. All right. Hmm. I, this never ever happened to me before. Oh. Um, I'm going to have a seizure if it goes like this. Okay. Hmm. All right. Um, it might be something to do with me sharing, actually, weirdly, um, because I was able to see it. And this was not happening when when I'm just looking at it. OK. So I am looking for. Oh. oh, we did have the REST API um, get properties. Computer vision, what else can we uh, learn from you? OK, a good idea is to look at the features. Computer vision. Unfortunately, I'm not able to share this with you. Hmm. 
<clears throat> so um, remember we uh, gave categories. I think um, the other things that we could give is uh, ask for is uh, objects, tags, and descriptions. Hmm. Uh, let me add those. Huh, but visual features categories, I wonder if I could give a um, a list. Huh. I am trying on the API, giving objects and tags together and see if that works. Nope, it didn't. <laughs> uh, visual features. Okay, uh, let's try giving objects in that case, or, or description. I think description, description will be fine. Okay. Let's see, I'm going to try to share it again. Uh, we'll see if that's gonna work this time. Yeah. Uh, uh. Wish me luck. Demo grabs. I haven't sacrificed anything for you lately. I know, but I will, I promise. <laughs> okay, so now we get a description from uh, from our service. So it says a man wearing suit and tie uh, tags, person, clothing, suit, standing, woman, wearing. Okay. Um, let's see. So, uh, vision version three is this one. I was just wondering if we could, if there's a newer version of this. Um, because I think it's doing a much better job usually. Huh, faces, description categories, friends. Um, okay. Oh, details, celebrities. Okay, now this should change things. Uh, if I send this one, Didn't change this one. That's weird. Um, Chris Saiti people. Um, maybe it is the um, face masks <laughs> throwing them off. Okay, let's find it. Kamala Harris picture. All right. Copy image address. And let's try this. Yes, Kamala Harris, yay. <laughs> okay, so detail, uh, basically detail, um, details, I have to add uh, as celebrities as a uh, parameter. So I'll do that without switching. But I promise this will all be on GitHub. I never trust my own uh, spelling, so. Um, hello. We have, what is today's topic? We are actually continuing to uh, build on <laughs> um, vision services. So basically, uh, what we have is this uh, little app with a very bad UI, uh, but we are giving a, a URL, image URL, and then uh, calling both services, not just uh, face, but also um, vision and getting details. So the vision 
we ask for description, description, person, clothing, captions. Oh, why? Oh, it is still using the previous picture, I think. That's uh, interesting. Oh, because I hard coded it, I think, <laughs> instead of getting it from the um, actual uh, input. Okay. Here we go. So now vision has categories. Let's see. People. And then we ask for description and captions. Kamala Harris smiling. Yes. Uh, this is what I was hoping for <laughs> because I know that our services do much better than that. Okay. And this is the face API. Face API was checking if um, mask, there's any masks and there's no mask. Okay. So, uh, yeah, Rami saved the day. Thank, no thanks to you, Hakan. <laughs> we were hanging for so long. So, yeah, Akash, if you have any questions, um, feel free to ask. And you can find uh, a lot of the information about this show, like all of the links uh, to services at this one, AKMS DevRel Cognitive Services. And um, so the links to GitHub repository is there that you can follow along and um, service information. And you can get it services for free and it's on that link as well so go there hopefully and um we do this every other week uh and we keep building different parts of the um cognitive services and if you are not familiar with the cognitive services there are ready to use uh train models it's very easy to make a call like this one oh yeah see below uh the uh, YouTube channel, I mean, YouTube video for all of the links. Cool. And um, there's actually a link to GitHub, which, okay, let me find it. Um, AK LMS, Gabriel Account Services. So this is the link. I think I needed to update it. So cognitive services, resources, there's uh, lots of uh, links over here. I needed to update this one. You got me. And uh, these are some of the services that we are going to use. So these are all vision. Ah, interesting. So we have um, form recognizer that takes IDs and we have spatial analysis. And, and uh, OK, we have face mask detection. All of the information is here. and um github repository oh here we go is also here okay ai playground and we have a discussion here um discussion panel that you can um ask us questions or if you have any ideas what you want us to implement i'll be here and hopefully next time with less uh technical issues <laughs> Cool. Um, we had the celebrities, and uh, we could try the landmarks as well. Uh, English, Japanese. Huh. So let's give it a. Um, it's asking us for uh, the language, which is interesting. Uh, I wonder it's, if it's um, doing the optical character recognition as well. Um, so we. I can find an example. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Then I'm probably. So computer vision. So uh, we have uh, some of the examples here. Um, okay, so I was here to steal this um, image, copy image address, okay. Good. 
So vision came with the categories, um, others, trans bicycle. So it is, um, the, it's able to find the bicycle. And then um, the score that you see uh, under it is uh, how sure the service is. Thank you, Akash. Um, good to have you here. Hopefully you follow along with us too. Uh, description, a bicycle in front of a, in front of a sign. Ah, huh, there is a sign, yeah. Uh, so we have our images tagged, which is nice. Um, so if this is really cool for searching, if you have a website with lots of images too. Um, front parts, okay, metadata. This is about the format and width, okay. Um, okay, and um, this first call is actually going to the um, face API, and because there's no face, it didn't find anything. So, um, what happens if I change the language to French? I wonder. Uh, first, I break the code, of course. Mm -hmm. Mm. Uh, error vision language French. Okay, so I um guess that there's French, but maybe not. Yeah, there isn't. Um Spanish, let's try that. Oh, the response is coming in Spanish. I didn't know that. Oh, that's awesome. Huh. Um, that's really cool. I think, I mean, I'm sure all of you watching are proficient in English, but um, I think one of the hardest things to learn coding in another language is that most of the um, content out there is in English and you actually have to be able to understand it. So it's really nice that you can get the, um, uh, at least the values in your native language. Really cool. Okay. Um, thank you. Um, let's see what else uh, we could get from this. So we got the description tags. Um, So um, these are great examples too. Like if you have a handwritten text too, you uh, are able to um, detect where the handwritten text is and you must be the change you... <laughs> uh, ah, okay. So each word where they are, you get a separate bounding box for them. Um, this is a really good way to figure out the... Um, API endpoints too. So categories, name, group, gray. Okay. okay. So anyone has any questions about the vision services or anything that you would like to see? We have a very limited time left. So I'm not sure if we should start doing something else or um, huh. Huh. It's interesting why it's our image thing not working anymore. So next, what I would like to do is um, maybe we do have 
the categories name okay um description captions tags okay i don't understand what's going on let me change this to english Okay. A bicycle in front of a sign. Metadata. Um, I was. Um, what is face mask? Oh, um, face mask is uh, checking to see if. A person is wearing a mask um, or not. Uh, that's one of the uh, things that you can return. So, okay. For example, we get one of these images, copy image address, and then put that image there. Um, Why did we not get a response from this one? Uh, component. Hmm. Oh, interesting. Something weird is happening. Okay, let's redo this. No, no. <laughs> Restart. Ah. Okay. I um somehow hard coded in somewhere. Okay. Shit. Okay. So Face mask is one attribute that we ask for in this um, call, and it is giving us a result if people are wearing a face mask and nose and mouth covered is true or not. So there's two people uh, that is detected, and both oh mouth covered false nose okay um, hmm this person somehow. Uh, thinks that it's not covered. That's kind of sad. <laughs> okay, yeah, um, we have this uh, capability in also our spatial analysis tool, uh, which looks at a video uh, stream, and then you can detect if people are wearing masks or not, um, which is really good for some places because then they can make sure that if they have to do extensive cleaning afterwards, like a hospital. Um, they can do that, or they can um, see different areas of a place if um, they can, if there are people in certain places without the mask. Because mask is uh, not only for um, COVID, right? Um, there are some other cases like uh, using very sensitive, uh, machinery where you have to wear masks and be careful about it. So it's a uh, cool feature. Okay. Um, awesome. So what other, let's look at what other um, things that we should implement next. Um, speech. Uh, could be one. Uh, I really like this new things that allows you to kind of like um, discover some of the functionality. Actually, uh, next time we meet, it's going to there's going to be some new um, releases and new uh, announcements at Build. Don't forget to sign up. Uh, it's going to be next week. Uh, Tuesday, starting from Tuesday to Thursday, uh, and there's a lot of uh, 
cool demos and announcements about all about ever, but also for cognitive services. So maybe we'll start playing with some of the new features next time. All right. Um, so uh, speech to text, text to speech. This is a very common one that uh, everyone, um, almost everyone can use it for accessibility. Uh, speech to text is uh, translating everything that you say to text and text to speech is the opposite. It's creating uh, speech from some text. Uh, and the cool thing is the speech translation. So maybe we can um, do this since we have a um, different group of people here, although I will be the only person who's speaking uh, as well as Vanessa. Maybe we could do something uh, with speech translation. So um, hmm, I don't know if it's too late to do a poll for the next one. Let's see. Uh -uh. Oh, I lost my communication with Peggy, unfortunately, the Chrome issues. Uh, but if you guys can vote now, what would you like to see next? The speech translation is uh, one of them. Uh, speaker recognition just takes a little bit more time. Intent recognition. Um, so this is like you can train your models to turn on lights or some to create something like Siri, basically, or uh, Google Home a assistant and Microsoft's Cortana. <laughs> Let's not forget that. OK. Um, <laughs> If not speech or um, hmm, language for vision, we can train a custom model um, or we can try out video indexer. It um, it's allows you to upload your videos in some places and then get some analytics and important information about it. It's very useful if you are. Uh, thank you, Akash. Um, Hopefully, uh, well, let us know what else you would like to see and if there's anything particular use case that you are having hard time to solve. We are here to experiment, build together. Um, text analytics is an interesting one. Well, we could um, detect sentiments uh, from tweets or uh, whatever people put in. Actually, I should um, deploy this app. Um, to Azure Web App for next time. And then uh, maybe you guys can put some input to it too. We can easily deploy it here. That would be really cool. All right, who has one last joke? We don't have much time left. Um, Not me, but uh, not Hakan, please, because we don't have enough time time to wait for him to <laughs> uh, finish the end of his joke and let us know. Okay. Um, just our last uh, few minutes, I want to see what else we could do here. Let's um, describe image, detect objects, uh, get area of interest, get read results. Oh, OK, so this is for um, get thumbnail is, uh, is a useful one, actually. So you can um, send images and then automatically turn it into uh, little thumbnails. Uh, recognize domain specific content. Um, let's try to detect objects, actually. Let's do us to mm -mm. 
-mm. Okay. So we should find an interesting image for, for this, which is the uh, hard part. Uh, uh, uh. Actually, this oh, image is interesting, but uh, how? <laughs> hmm. What is spatial analysis? Maybe we could find a picture here. No, to take it. Oh, who chases computer criminals? A hacker tracker. <laughs> nice one. Thank you. Thank you. Um, all right. Um, okay. Let's recap maybe what we did. Uh, remember, every everything that you see here is in our code base. I'm going to push it right after what we have so far um, on the cloud advocacy uh, GitHub. And you can find other interesting projects like uh, next week, uh, Seth is building Rochambeau, which is an app uh, that plays rock, paper, scissor. And um, okay, so you can find all of the uh, code here and then uh, follow along. The latest is in this pull request, which I'm going to. Uh, uh, merge so you can start from that one and then uh, I'll have another uh, branch that says the end version so if you want to uh, do it yourself and you can get free credits of Azure it's all here too and uh, catch the other um, AI shows previous AI shows and uh, one thing um, I really like Seeing people is uh, Azure AI Cognitive. So I am uh, the um, moderator of this, of this, but we also have an Azure uh, one subreddit and um, ask your questions and there's always really good resources. But the most important thing is <laughs> uh, please catch us on Build because it is really exciting and I was uh, super happy to do the demos and bring the news and um, I can't wait to play with them next week. So don't be a computer criminal because hacker trackers are out there <laughs> and they're after you. <laughs> All right. Um, Akash, where are you from? We are going to be, they cut me right off at time, so it's always an awkward uh, thing for me, but here's... <laughs>